Okay, I thought I would do a real quick tip here about guide curves um, and actually why I don't use guide curves anymore. Well, I certainly I create them, uh, but I kind of immediately throw them away in favor of guide extrusions. And let me show you why. So uh, this is just a simple degree three single span curve. Let's pretend it's a guide curve for some geometry we're building. And let's cr pretend that we want two surfaces to match this. Well, if we wanna match those exactly, like if we've got two degree three surfaces that match this, uh, two subsets of this curve, what we might do, what we should do is split this curve, right? So we'd split it wherever we want our uh, seam to be. And what you see, of course, and this is just a natural property of NURBS curves, is that we've now broken our big curve down into two smaller, also single span degree three curves. And this is just by definition of, of NURBS, is that you can always take a curve and break it into two smaller segments of the same definition. Same thing with surfaces. You can split surfaces in the same way, right? And this is just an, a really nice property of NURBS that makes it really helpful. But the thing is, is we've, we've lost something here. We've lost the ability to sort of gracefully edit this entire guide curve, right? And unless we saved a copy of this off before, now we're like, Ugh, and then we're maybe rebuilding this and it's all kind of a mess, right? Or it's just a hassle. Um, so there's a better way to do it that I found. So we go undo, back to this guide curve, degree three, single span, and I turn it into a guide extrusion. Blow it up so it's a surface, right? So, and then what I typically do these days is I just throw the curve away. I don't need the curve anymore. Well, let me show you why. Because what we've done, we've created this extrusion, right? And these, of course, you know, this is a very helpful thing if it's across a center line. Uh, you'd want to, you know, extrude it in the correct direction. Uh, but even if this is not a center line item now, I just, I extrude it in whatever direction is clever, um, especially if I'm just going not tangent or anything, just positional. Uh, and let me show you what happens, right? Uh, so let's split the edge, right, where our curve was again. And let's dupe the edges, right? Let's dupe this edge and this edge, and let's turn on F10. And you can see it's done the same thing that we did before, right? But what's cool is, here, let me get rid of these curves. What's cool is that I can still, of course, grab these verts and I can edit this, right? Just like before. So one thing to watch out for though, there's like one little catch, which is that if I need to change where that split is in my guide, right? I would go and I would use the merge edge command, right? So I merge these edges, cool. And then you think to yourself, all right, cool. I merged those edges. Look at this, this is a little goofy. So I dupe that edge, I turn on the points, and even though I've merged the edge, it still sees it as two different segments. Now, uh, two ways to reset this. One is if you were to actually edit this, this, uh, this surface here, it would redefine this edge for you naturally. The other thing that you can do is you can use the rebuild edges command. So if I use rebuild edges and I click on this and now I dupe this edge, right? Here, let me turn off these, okay? And then I turn on the points for my edge, ta-da! Or for my curve, rather. So this, this curve is from the now rebuilt edge, edge and it's exactly back to what you would want and hope that it would be, all right? Um, so since I sort of figured that out, I don't, I don't keep my guide curves anymore. I keep everything as a guide extrusion, um, and I just find it's so much more flexible. I'm never worried anymore about like losing that original curve, chopping stuff into lots of different segments if I need, and then I always have the ability to go back and edit that big macro shape, right? So, hope you find that useful.